I think in the midst of all of this, it would be remiss if we didn't also say that we are entering and have entered in the last few minutes uh -huh. the era of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Oh, God, let it be. Oh, man, I love that. And oh, I love Holy Spirit. We have mm. been Father, Son, and Holy Scriptures for so long. Wow. And not Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Whoa. And uh, I wear a ring with the, uh, uh, from Israel uh, which says, the Lord our God is one, you know? Yes. And I really feel like the Spirit of God is a massive missing portion right. wow. of the experience of the church. Yeah, yeah. And not only are we going to see righteousness and holiness, mm -hmm. but you are about to see miracles and signs and wonders that you have only dreamed of. But it's by His Spirit. By His, his Spirit. spirit. And I actually not believe. Not by might, not by power, but I by I actually his believe that yeah, some of us, and, and, and I would say, say this because mm. I want you to understand why you felt so frustrated mm -hmm. and why some of us have felt so weak. Mm -hmm. Anybody had moments of real weakness? I know I have. <laughs> I know yeah. I'm 46 <laughs> and should have a bit more energy, but I've had moments of, <laughs> I've had moments of real weakness. Yeah. yeah. And I really feel like the Lord is saying, I have had to put you in frustrated, weak places that you might learn what dependency on my spirit is. Yes. So that true. actually my strength will be seen through you mm. and that I was actually shaking even your physical frame so that in the era of the spirit, you would know it was not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. And Ooh. actually God was stripping even our flesh oh. and patterns of how we did things that we might grow dependency and that we might come to a place of oh. such yieldedness yeah. that we might have the missing portion of Holy Spirit possession. Mm. And I think the Holy Spirit is going to possess That's for me. us. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is going to possess yeah. us. Yeah. And it is in, in our weakness that he will enable us to be strong. Take that. And we Take are that, going to become wild. That's like for we, you. We are going to become wild like we have longed for. Mm. And most of us only have memories of radicalness. Yeah. But I want to say you are about to become wild in a new way. Mm. Yeah. And you are about to become, you are about to become beautifully intolerant Ooh. beautifully intolerant to the spirit of the age and you are about to become an offense to the spirit of religion oh. and i really believe <laughs> that many of us have got into bed with the spirit of religion mm -hmm. and once we railed against it but the age of the holy spirit is going to make us offensive to religion. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in the midst of all of that, can I say with not a lot of joy, we are also in the era, the age and era of the Holy Spirit, but we have also entered the era of the church split. Wow. And we are going to see the church split from the nominal mm -hmm. to those who pursue holiness. Mm. And you got to know what season it is. And sometimes it's a season to embrace. Yeah. Sometimes it's a season to refrain. Okay. And the Lord is going to allow a church yeah. split. And yeah. we're going to see whole denominations become yeah. Ichabod, Whoa. where his glory will yeah. depart from the nominal. And I actually believe that we're going to see churches uh, diminish who are passively independent versus those who steward his presence who are radically hu uh, humble. And we're going to see that difference. And the Lord has given me a word that we're going to see the end of the successful church, a oh God of mercy over wanting successful church, and the big birthing of the victorious church. Mm. And they measure, they measure things very, very, very differently. Mm.